Hi and welcome to my new series Unpopular Opinions where we try and convince other content creators on our unpopular opinions and try and make them popular opinions. If there's anything you want to see discussed in this series let me know in the comments and also let me know if you agree with us or not. In the meantime guys don't forget to hit like on the video, don't forget to subscribe and I hope you enjoy the video. Fire Drive and Blowpipe are Prime League hard mode worthy combats. Oh, wow. <laughs> so this is uh, Freezes. Uh, okay. So Freezes. <laughs> so before we actually start, so what do we think? Are we giving it a thumbs up? Yeah, I'm giving it a thumbs down. <laughs> Freezes. I mean, <laughs> you've got you've got a, you've got a bit of competition here, but to convince us. But go on, state your case. Try and convince us. All right. So here's the thing. So there's been a there's been a couple of videos that I've done talking about this topic, and um, probably the most notable one was the all, I did one about all speed teams. So it's all DPS boosters, all anybody that can add speed to your team. And I actually was able to take like a three star crankcase. You know, I think believe that's horse for you guys, and um, and, and and attach blowpipe to him and it worked really really well like and i'm talking about like prime league hard mode but that was kind of light on the case so it's three things that i think you can do to make blowpipe really effective uh one of them is have it on a bot that has either either protection that can protect itself or give itself additional health i think that if you use it on a bot that has the appropriate animations so, and what I mean by that is, so for me, I use Nemesis Prime. I think that's hot rod for you guys. Uh, I use it on him. And with his ability 11, he can protect himself. And what I've seen is because of the animations, in addition to that, he, he still uses his rifle. And so what that does, instead of the biggest complaint is that blowpipe and fire drive make you creep up too far, get you into a little bit of trouble. But with that, but with that rifle, it slows that down uh, dramatically. And your team kind of catches up as you're doing damage. And not to mention, in the current meta, um, there's a lot of front loading. I like to have a couple of bots that can go do some damage to walls because the walls, um, I'm not going to say the walls are coming back, but their intended use is coming back. And so that's pretty much my talking point for that. I get the theory behind it. Um, even mm -hmm. using Nemesis Prime, you know, something you make yourself invincible, right? So even even though the pathing that uh, Fire Drive gives to bots, you know, you sort of go around a wall instead of using that times eight to go through a wall, right? The invincibility is going to protect you. Um, I think I, from a stats perspective, I think it's in theory it works great to be against walls, but it's just the pathing just doesn't line up to what the combat was intended for all right so it's like mm -hmm. you could have your standard honeycomb right you could almost just put him in the middle to to an edge but for some reason he'll just start to run around and i think it was one of the develops basic uh, sorry the developers basically told us was that the config or the, the memory uh, the brain power of these combats is that there's a time a little time i go is it quicker for me to run around the wall or is it quicker for me to go through the wall? And this little time mechanism is what you see then where it will drag a bot around a wall because it's quicker for me to quickly run around the wall than burst through it. Um, and when, once that was explained, I was like, well, you know what? I, I kind of get it. Um, definitely not for me because there's well, obviously way better combats. Uh, you know, if, we, if you're just looking to get through walls, I'm going to throw a sludge at you. Um, but for if it's an open plain field, I'm all for the all for the greatest of DPS team. You know, have eight bots at 1,000 DPS, just run through it. And it was kind of the concept that I had back in the day of I'll the, have sludge. And the motto, the motto was no walls, no problems. But I just think just from a pathing point of view, I just, I don't want, those type of bots to go out ahead of what I would enjoy. So it's, yeah, it's hard to convince me on this one, I think. 
And I was I actually went back before we when we were preparing for this. I watched you guys this video about the combat boss. It's been about six months, I believe. Yeah. And I was like, and I was like, I don't think that it's a. Uh, I don't think that it's a, a not great. I think it's more of a situational. Um, but I can find more situations, me personally, that I can use fire driving blowpipe than situations that I can't. I think for me, the, the problem is that, like Tex said about pathing round walls and things like that, so I want all my combats to sort of do the same. Now, if I had a team of all bots that all went through walls and I had five fire drives, say, and you went and you went through mm-hmm. them walls so quick, then pathing's not an issue. But I think what you find is that you have one bot that has fire drive shooting at the wall. You have the one of the gunners shooting over the wall. They destroy the target, and then the bot that has fire drive walks round the wall, where the ones are still shooting. They just path differently. So I think if you're going to create a team of five fire drive short distance bots, I think that would work pretty well. But when you've got Top shot, who's so good, and I think he still is. And when you've got Flack, that's sort of the best combat in the game that shoot over walls, fire drives or blow pass always going to be against it, really, to sort of to match them. From a stats, stat perspective, fire drive works, right? But it's if you if you have other options, as you said, situational is situational, right? It's not desirable, right? So, you know, in this game, you're after desirable bots, combats, whatever. And then once you get them, those situational bots, their situation is the bench, right? It's a farm team. It's sort of like that. And it's not it's not because we want to discard them, but there's just, there's only so much room in that shuttle. We're always trying to encourage people to bring the best that you can, right? For the, for the best results. Um, I think, yeah, it's, it's a great concept. But I just, either they... They stuff the coding up to mm-hmm. make him think that if you can run around a wall quicker, I will do that. That shouldn't be part of Fire Drive's yeah. code, right? His job was yeah, time. No, I agree time, with that. <laughs> time, and and I think that's exactly what was said. Like, f- for same for me. I don't want people splitting. I want the whole group to go as a group, right? If I want to go through a honeycomb at times eight, great, but you find you're not going to have four t- fire drives. You're not going to have, I mean, you wouldn't take. Oh, many, no, absolutely not. Right. <laughs> right. And that's the thing, but that could be a pathing thing. Like you could have the four and the five star together, but if they literally just done what their bio said that they should do and didn't have this internal clock, it would be different. I think everyone would have yeah. different thing about him, but he said, he had 32 DPS to, to a bot. That's huge. That's the cap that we still run at now. And, and fire drive was part of the first batch. So it's like, there's nothing wrong with the stat boost at all. It's just how he changes the pathing. And I think that really affects a lot of people because they either don't want to waste points to uh, gather people back together or have to fix up or save that bot that fire drives on. I tell you guys what, and I'll leave it alone after this. So when you guys get, you know, when you guys get off of the video, whenever you get a chance, go try it on hot rod and then watch the animations and see how it is. It's kind of intermittent, but it'll slow him down and he will stay with the team. So if you ever get a chance, go try that. And then just hit me in the DM. You guys got me on Discord and let me know how you feel. I'll try to test server because I ain't pulling him. But <laughs> let's put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You, you don't have a five-star five drive just sitting there at level 10. <laughs> nah. Well, let, let's vote anyway. So obviously, Freeze, do you still stand by your... Uh... Is it a thumbs up still? Do you still agree with it? I I stand like okay. Right. Uh, I'm, I'm a bit like that. Uh, I'm not as I'm not as down as I, I was. was. Say, I I need. I, I think I got. I went from down to, to halfway. So you've, yeah, you've got I some think, valid points. Uh, yeah, if you got a team of fire drive bots and get through walls, I think that'd be interesting. Actually, I think it'd be interesting. But maybe but I, I, it's I getting them fire bots this... to go through walls. Yeah, I, I think what's great about it is he's given exact examples of the situations that is perfect. Yeah, yeah, for, right. Yeah, this is what it's we, for, we need yeah. we need to we need to personally have a test and about a, this. And it's small. It's a very small sample of bots that it works in. But when you have those bots, you got those bots. Okay. Yeah, so. and I think I think and what we touched on HQ eighteen that basically hot rod. I think is is a good bot. So for you to say that <laughs> potentially five drive is going to be good for hot rod nemesis prime. Well, look, I I'm prepared to have it and have a test because yeah, I think walls is going to be a potential issue. 
maybe. Yeah. Maybe yeah, if I issue it. Absolutely. 